Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you did this. Thanks. Oh my god. Honestly, like yeah. this is such a special time and place for this yeah. to all be existing, I think. Personally, I'm just like, I'm really a fan of like, women artists, like, kind of doing these things for themselves. And it's not necessarily like, it's not like a self-indulgent thing because it's more of like a, like I'm doing this because I feel like I need to. And like, it's not that I have, like this is my way of surviving, but this is my way of like choosing to exist and choosing to like preserve myself up until this point. Yeah, I really, really love this. I, like, Me too. I loved going down memory lane and not like being part of those memories at all, but just like <laughs> kind of like going along with your like catalog and being like, oh my god, <laughs> this is like the progression of a person's life. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's not just my story either. Right. You know, it's like other people's stories too. Right. So like... But it is mine. Mm -hmm. You know, because like, but just the entanglement of like. Yeah, the stories that you choose, <laughs> and then some other people happen to be part of those stories. Yeah. So, um, if this show were to be moved to another space, mm -hmm. um, what would, like, what would, what would you choose to bring right. into that other space? Oh man, oh, that's so dependent on like how much space there is. But if you could like consolidate, like this. <laughs> Like, I love the, like, magic carpet and this. Also a lot of the, like, the divination stuff that you've got, like that little table set up, the unopened book. Um, but also I bring the bed with the paintings, if possible. I would say definitely the prisms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, seeing this in the daytime. It's definitely like a time-specific thing that you would want to like share with people at a certain time. Um, and the paintings in your room, like that space is so intimate and it's like so very representative of just like, you're living here and you're bringing like sometimes complete strangers over here, but it's just where you sleep and eat and live and I love that you're choosing to like show something that's in progress. Also this space is just so special. I know. It's like really, really beautiful and definitely hard to like replicate. So it would be difficult, I guess, to bring it somewhere else, but to pick and choose the pieces that you would be able to bring with you, I think is definitely like feasible. Um, what what genre would you classify it as? Ooh. I don't know. I feel like maybe like a post-contemporary folk. I don't know how to explain. I don't know what genre it would fall under. Because it's so many different things. Right. It's like... Well, maybe we'll come back to that or not. Okay. Really, maybe just say <laughs> I mean, I can definitely say that I don't know anyone else that has done this. I've never met anyone in my <laughs> lifetime that's like actively like been like, I'm gonna put my whole life on like exhibit in my home. I mean, I've done like studio visits where like people have studios, but that's not like where they live. Yeah. Um, and I've. I have friends who have used their homes as like nomadic like exhibition spaces but mostly for like other artists and then while they um while the artists are away they are just living in their home like it's their home they haven't like had this ongoing like presentation of their home as an exhibition like it's they've treated their homes as like sort of a residency yeah thank you glinda Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>